What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. So today I have a little LCS pickup to show you guys. I went to a coin shop that I've never been to before. It was about an hour and a half from where I live and uh, they had some really cool stuff. Uh, the owner of the place was real friendly and real accommodating and I asked them what I usually ask any coin shop I walk into if they have any foreign silver, especially Mexican coins, uh, Balboas, things like that. I ask about their, you know, maybe some unique generic rounds, and I and I ask about their junk silver prices and and their eagles and maples and stuff like that. But I did pick up some pretty cool pieces here. He did have some of these un pesos, some of my favorite coins. I've been picking up a lot of these lately, and some of these are just in great shape, way better than any of the other ones I have. I mean, check out the luster and the, you know, they just looks. You know, these are almost unk, I would say. Um, a little bit of tarnishing and stuff going on in certain places, but, I mean, compared to some of the other ones I have, these ones are gorgeous. Here's a 1966. This is the Un Peso Mexican coin. Uh, they're only 10% silver, but it's a nice big coin, 34.5 millimeters in diameter, with that awesome edge lettering, my favorite. Let's see, where is it? Independencia e Libertad. Pretty awesome. I really like these. So I picked up eight of those. They're really cool. So these uh these four here are in great shape. Really nice. This one's a 1964. And uh, Mexico minted these from 1957 through 1967 in 10% silver, the un pesos, one peso. And you see a couple of these are pretty uh, tarnished. They turn green. A, a lot of the ones I have are pretty green like this, but I mean, these look awesome too. This one's a 1961. And you can see that Mexico City mint mark, the O over M, right to the left of his uh, shoulder there. So I thought you know, I thought I'd pick up a few more of these. Really good looking ones. Really like these coins a lot. You know, I have a bunch of these. So every time I see them, I pick them up. I mean, for three or four bucks, you can't beat, you know, a, a coin that contains silver. And it's big. It's a big, nice big coin. So I picked up eight of those. I was really excited about that. Uh, I asked him about, about about Balboas, but he didn't have too many in stock at the moment, but he did have these two. Here's a quarter Balboa. Vasco Nunez de Balboa. I love that portrait. That looks so cool. And you see here, 90% silver, 6.25 grams. This is a 1953. And what I love about the Balboas is they follow the American constitutional silver. So anything 1964 and prior is 90% silver. They have dimes, quarters, half dollars, and full dollars. Uh, an un Balboa, one Balboa would equal one US dollar. And, uh, you know, half dollars are half Balboas, quarter Balboa is a quarter. So kind of follows suit to that. So I picked up two of these. This one's pretty toned up and it's a little bit mangled up too, but you know me, I love those dirty old coins. So definitely cool. Once again, 90% uh, 90 silver, 6.25 grams. And this one was a 1953 as well. But this one's pretty toasty. But I like that, I'm, you know, I like those old, dirty old coins. I also picked up one of these guys. This is 25 centavos, 1953. You see the little mint mark there, Mexico City. And I love that design. That's uh, the Liberty cap with the sun rays at the top, above the silver scroll on the uh, balance there. And that's so cool with the sword as well I mean it's such a cool design and then of course that awesome Mexican Eagle 
Estados Unidos Mexicanos. And these are, they're, it's about the size of a nickel. These are actually 30% silver. So these are cool, you know, a little bit more silver content than the Un Pesos. And, um, but not extremely high in silver, but still a really cool coin that you can pick up for around two bucks. So I thought that was awesome. I really like those. I like that design. I also saw this one, and I just I just had to pick this guy up. Check out that. I got a little fuzz on there. But by the uh, animals there, you could probably guess what country this is from. We have a kangaroo, as well as an emu. Yep, you probably guessed it, Australia. We got the Queen, Australia, 1966. And this is a nice size coin too. It's um it's about, let's see, a little 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 smaller than that. So this might be a little bit bigger than an American half dollar. I think this might be 32 millimeters, something like that. So 50 cents. This is when they switched over to the dollar out of the pounds. No longer pence, but cents. And uh, it's not in the best shape, but it's just such a cool coin. I love that design. I love the animals and the crest. So cool. And this is 80% silver. It's about 13 and a half grams of 80% silver. So this was around, uh, I think I paid around eight bucks for this guy. So really cool. I just love, I love Australian coins because they always have such cool animals on them. Really like this one. So that was a, uh, a fun little pickup. I don't have any of these. So that's the first in my collection for that. And then lastly, I saw this and I just, I had to get it. Take a look at this one, guys. We got a Standing Liberty, 1986. And this is a generic round. United States of America, one troy ounce, three nines fine silver. With the flying eagle. I love that design. It's such a cool looking eagle. But I saw this round and I had to get it. And it wasn't too much either. He had a he wasn't asking a lot for it. M not much above spot at all. I think I paid two bucks above spot. So really cool. I just I love that design. I love that it's a 1986. It's a you know it's a vintage. It's kind of I guess 1986 is a little weird because there's never been a 1986 Standing Liberty quarter, but you know it's a cool year. It's a cool round, and it's got that lots of luster. Beautiful. I just really like this round a lot. I saw it in the in the case, and I'm like. I had to have it. So these are my pickups from the LCS today. Really excited about these. I got the eight un pesos, two quarter balboas. We got a 25 centavos from Mexico. We also have 50 cents from Australia. I love this one. I mean, that's so cool. And I like, I like the big coins. You know, some of those little tiny ones, they're cool, but Nothing like having a real big silver coin, right? So I'm really excited about the, the condition of these guys. Really good looking. Um, of course, you see my little guy here, right? From my last video. That awesome poured piece of silver. Man, I love this little guy. Little half ounce for Mutiny Metals. I mean, this thing is sweet. Little chunker. I like the chunk. I also have this little half dollar that I got from my buddy Bullion Addict. Very nice gift. Actually, it goes with my new round. I got my 1986 collection going. Pretty sweet. But yeah, I love this piece. Thanks BA for that one. I also have my little lucky skeleton key too. I like these old skeleton keys. They're so much they're so much fun to collect has a number three on there. I always just wonder, what did this key, what door did this open, right? How interesting. I don't know. I like little, little interesting things like that. 
and I got my uh, little typesets here as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's quick video. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw today. And please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos all about silver stacking, coin collecting, precious metals, and all that awesome stuff. And please ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload videos every single day. And as always, folks, have a great day.